Volkswagen has 37 secured facilities around the United States housing nearly 350,000 vehicles. The lots include a shuttered suburban Detroit football stadium, a former Minnesota paper mill, and a sun-bleached desert graveyard near Victorville, California. VW spokesperson Janine Ginevan said in a statement, that the storage facility in Victorville, California is one of many to ensure the responsible storage of the vehicles that are bought back under the terms of the Volkswagen diesel settlement. These vehicles are being stored on an intern basis and routinely maintenanced in a manner to ensure their long-term operability and quality so they may be returned to commerce or exported once U.S. Regulators approve appropriate emission modifications. In total, VW has agreed to spend more than $25 billion in the United States for claims from owners, environmental regulators, states, and dealers, and offer to buy back about 500,000 polluting U.S. vehicles. The buyback will continue through the end of 2019. The court filing said through December 31st, Volkswagen had required 335,000 diesel vehicles, resold 13,000, and destroyed about 28,000 vehicles as of the last of the year. VW was storing 294,000 vehicles around the country. VW must buy back or fix 85% of the vehicles involved by June 2019 or face higher payments for emission. The company said in February it has repaired or fixed nearly 83% of the covered vehicles and expects to soon hit the requirement. In April 2017, Volkswagen was sentenced to three years probation for pleading guilty to three felony counts and paid $4.3 billion in federal penalties. The automaker in September 2015 admitted to circumventing the emission control systems in U.S. diesel vehicles for vehicles sold since 2009, prompting the resignation of the company's chief executive. This is Michael Papworth reporting for Random Life News. 